Hey, what's up guys? Uh, if you remember my last video, I was talking about there was a bunch of bots and ranked and there's a bunch of cheaters in Rocket League. Kind of lame. Felt like the whole game was going downhill. Sionix hadn't responded for about a month, I think. Um, but they responded today. They finally had something to say. We appreciate that. Let's see what they said. All right, so this is a tweet about it here and it links to a Reddit post. This is it here. It's a lot of words no one wants to read. I understand that. I don't want to read either. That shit sucks. Uh, I do have a solution. With the last several weeks, the introduction of third and party bots to online matches and competitive playlists, especially, has understandably been a very active topic among the Rocket League community. Earlier today, we took action against a number of accounts running bots in Rocket League. This bandwave should cover the vast majority of accounts that have used bots since they first appeared in online matches towards the end of 2022. And we will continue to monitor for bots and take appropriate action against any player's accounts using them. Furthermore, to help us address bots in future matches, we have added a cheating report reason back into the game. You can find this in game on the report reason list in the report the block menu. Finally, we are taking steps to introduce additional anti-cheat functionality into Rocket League. This is in progress with the engineering teams and we'll share more on this once we're closer to implementation. While we have been quiet on the subject during this time, we have been actively investigating these bots since they first appeared late last year. We strive to be active participants when it comes to community conversations about our game, but we are always going to be more deliberate on issues related to game security and competitive integrity, withholding comments until we are ready to take action. There is a zero tolerance policy when it comes to using bots in online play. This is considered both cheating and matchmaking abuse, and it violates the Rocket League terms of use as well as the code of conduct. Also, if you are interested in working with Psyonix directly on anything bot related, you can reach out to us here on Reddit, on Discord, or Twitter. Thanks, everyone. All right, so basically they're just saying that they Acknowledge there's cheaters, they're in the game, they're gonna ban them, they're gonna ban all the accounts they detect have cheated so far, but that doesn't really help like going into the future, you know, because with the free to play game, people can just make a new account right away if they don't get an IP ban or if they don't change fundamentally their approach to ranked. Um, we're, this is a problem we're gonna have for a while. I believe they, when they mentioned the anti-cheat, ideally that program should detect if someone's cheating and ban them very quickly. Because if you can just cheat and then get banned like a few days later, it doesn't change much when you can just make an account. You can just make an account, get banned, make an account, get banned all the time. Like people who cheat don't mind doing that. But if you have an anti-cheat that like immediately detects your cheating and then bans you, that's obviously a good thing. And I think the reason they haven't had one in there because like anti-cheats aren't perfect. If you have a system that detects someone's cheating when they're not and bans them, I think that's worse than letting like 10 people go for cheating and not detecting them. In that case, those people just get like a few games, like ruin a few games for people. But if you detect someone is cheating and ban them and they don't have recourse to, if they don't have recourse to prove their innocence, then you're just ruining the game for that person forever. Obviously it's worse. It gets to the bigger problem with Rocket League currently is the way Sionix treats ranked and some other playlists like casual, I think could be reworked. That's a conversation for another time. Um, the biggest problem is they don't really protect ranked that much. Like they don't do anything to stop smurfing. They say you have to get to level 10 on account to play ranked, but you don't. If you're in a party with someone, which is 90% of the smurfs just go into a party with their friends, they don't have to get up to ranked or they don't have to get up to level 10 to play ranked, which to me is just stupid. Like why even have that to begin with? Uh, what other games do to prevent this? Like uh, CSGO has ranked behind a paywall. So you can download CSGO, play it for free, play it casual with your friends. But then if you wanna play ranked, you have to pay like $15 or whatever it is. Um, that's an all right solution, but I can see why they wanna make the game free. So I think games like Overwatch do a phone number verification. So you have to have a phone number and like confirm that you own the phone number and you can't use Google Voice or other voice over IP. And although there's ways around that too, like multiple phone numbers or like track phones or something like that, it's at least a big barrier to people to like smurf and cheat and ruin the game um i don't know i guess this has gotten a bit off the rails but i just think they could do a lot to change ranked and it would prevent a lot of these problems before they crop up uh but anyways thanks for watching the video guys i hope you like it uh, i'm glad these people are getting banned hope they die um see you in the next video peace